guys so we are in montana if you can tell those are mountains back there i did vlog footage when we first got here but i actually got really really sick on the plane it's so embarrassing this altitude sickness thing is no joke i did not think that i would get it <laughs> but i got sick on the plane as soon as we hit it was like colorado right yeah started vomiting on the plane Luckily, I felt myself like for 45 minutes. I was like doing breathing exercises and all that stuff to try and calm myself down But I think as soon as we hit like the highest altitude in the Rockies or something I just felt it coming and I told Daryl like to I, like I need a bag I need I need a bag like that's all I, I, I couldn't really I don't want to speak because I knew I was going to vomit so um, I pushed the little the, They were really good the attendants like yeah. she was very very concerned and she yeah. was very like attentive mm -hmm. so i definitely give her props for that um i told her i was in the six so she went to the back and got me a plastic bag and i was it was just like ugh, i hate vomiting so i knew people around me were probably not like they were probably were, like seriously like they were probably going on vacation and stuff and they mm -hmm. were probably like oh this girl's vomiting on the plane <laughs> mm -hmm. and even now i still feel a little sick i think my body's adjusting already because i do feel a bit better um but man the altitude difference is no joke because I've been looking it up like what the difference was from Austin to here and what was like a 10 times mm -hmm. 10 times the amount 10 times higher than Austin, 10 times higher than Austin. so um and especially coming from somebody like where I'm from the altitude the elevation is what did I say Westlaco was like 75 79, yeah. <laughs> 79. and it sucks we're gonna go to Yellowstone today but everything I've read says to take it like really easy the first two days so I'm kind of bummed about that. I know I've captured some footage of how beautiful Montana is, but guys, I'm telling you, I've been telling Daryl this like the whole time we've been here, the camera does not do it justice. And I've heard that saying so many times when it comes to beautiful places, but it's so true. Like looking around, you see the mountains everywhere and videos, pictures don't do it justice. It's so much prettier in person. I definitely recommend coming to Montana. Even though I did say I got sick and I want to freak you guys out because you guys are probably going to be like, uh, no thanks. I really want to go to Yellowstone. I really do. We can still go if you want. That's, I know my body feels... Going to the sun, that's Yellowstone or Glacier? That's Glacier. Oh, okay. Because we're still going to Glacier uh, tomorrow, actually. We're going to go to Glacier National Park. We're going to go rafting, so that's going to be fun. Um, so we still do have fun stuff planned, but today just like, every, everywhere I read says to take it chill, to not do too much. You don't want like to listen to your body, so, ugh, I guess I have to listen to my body. <laughs> I mean, just being out here though is enough. It's very relaxing, guys. It's super relaxing. It's, it really does make you like, like Daryl said earlier. Daryl was saying like it makes you appreciate God. It makes you be one with God, and it makes you just think how like the stuff that bothers you in life at, back at home is nothing. Like it really, it really is nothing. Cause this life here is like, like honestly, I know I got sick and all, but I would love to have a house out here, like a little vacation house or something. That's how beautiful it is. It's that it's that pretty and that relaxing to where. You need to have a house in Montana. Mm -hmm. Like you just have to. When you come visit here, you're not gonna want to leave. It's so beautiful, and I know I'm still feeling sick, but it's like looking at the the mountains just make you feel better instantly, you know. But I just want to check in with you guys and say hi because uh, we hadn't. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I love Montana. I don't. I love Texas too, so it's not like a diss to Texas, but it's just like it's a I different just, love. It is. It's just different. But then again, it feels so similar. Like we got off the plane, mm -hmm. and first thing I said, I was like, we we got off the plane and went outside of the airport towards our rental car, and we were able to feel the climate, and the sun was hitting us. And I was like, it feels like Texas. Yeah. It doesn't feel like this forward place, like because right now it's it's um, I think like eight thirty, nine o'clock, something like that in the morning, and the only clouds you see are like the ones hover hovering over the mountains. Other than that, it's like pretty much a clear blue sky mm -hmm. all around. 
and the sun's out so it feels no different than being in Austin it's hard to even like not just look at the mountains while you talk you know it's like they, they just grab your attention and just like oh look at those mountains wow it's crazy because like the sun's out sun's beaming right now as if like you're in Austin and but there's still snow on top of the mountain which is just crazy how how God made everything work you know yeah it's beautiful here guys but yeah it, it's true like don't get me wrong like I felt I had to adjust a little bit too I felt a little bit see I don't know if I got nauseous because you were throwing up I probably made a lot of people nauseous for yeah. me throwing up yeah I thought she was having an asthma attack yeah because we she wasn't speaking she was just like and I was like what are you <laughs> you want some water like what's up what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong she wouldn't say anything and then all she said was bag okay. so it was all right you took care of me you my babes I want to take care of you. He was wiping my, all my grossness from my mouth and stuff. I appreciate you. You, might be you don't get grossed out for anything. Nah, I don't he's, get grossed he's out. He's a man. Yeah, let's make out. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. We went to Walmart yesterday, and it was really cool. Like, there is so much. There's a lot of diversity here in Montana. So many people were like, "Really, Montana? Why?" Um, but actually I was pleasantly surprised there is like a lot of diversity as soon as I walked into into Walmart there was like a a, a mom and her or her son speaking Spanish and I was like oh wow then we saw like a couple of black people we saw some some Muslim women a lot of people think like Montana is not diverse <clears throat> but we're, we are here in Bozeman mm -hmm. which is um, a really one of the biggest cities in Montana and there was a lot of diversity yeah. which is really cool yeah, it's kind of like you watch the news, you just hear about that guy who's like a KKK leader. Oh, that, uh, that was up in Whitefish. Whitefish, yeah. And you kind of associate like that with Montana as a whole, not just the Which city of Whitefish. not good. But that's what, like, you know, it's, it's what the news is telling exactly. you, you know what well, I mean? The, the news There's, always tells you, the news always wants to, they want to use their agenda has, has for racism. Slant. It's kind of yeah. like, remember Bad Boys? <laughs> they still be having a slant. slant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exactly what it is. So you, you see that stuff and you go, you come into Montana, you're just like, ooh, I don't know about that. It's kind of, you, you kind of get nervous, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. But people, people are so like, nice. The guy from the, the airport, the old, ooh, yeah. he was like a The first person that said hi to us was like an old dude, like old white man, um, like gray mustache. Like, like, yeah, like a, like a beard. Yeah, and he like, was just like. Like a mountain man. Exactly. But he was junior like, hi guys, how's it going? If you guys are thinking about coming up to the mountains and stuff, don't let that deter you. Um, it never really deterred us. We we're still going to come regardless because we, we want to come here. <laughs> we're just going to charm people. Yeah. They, if they don't like us because of race or whatever. We're charming. charm the hell out of you. Yeah. I'm going to charm you. You're going <laughs> to like, like us. Me. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> the little doggies over there. My first encounter with Montana wildlife. You just want to hang out with us? We have some visitors, guys. You just want to hang out? The mountains are nice, right? You guys are used to them now, right? No big deal. <laughs> you guys are just chilling. It's another day. Another Tuesday. Whatever. <laughs> okay, the bed's a mess now. It's not all beautiful anymore. <laughs> to wake up and see this as your view is spectacular. They have this cute little fireplace here. We were thinking of putting it on, but it's not cold right now, so I don't really want to use it. Um, but man, God's beauty, guys. You got to get out and enjoy it. Seriously, life's too short to not do adventures like this. I seriously can't get enough of these views. It's so beautiful. Hi, Hi Mountain Man. Ah. Joshua 1-9. Yippers. <laughs> mm. So, okay. So this major peak, peak right here, can you see my hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from like this line here to that line there, I think that's Sacagawea. Okay. And from this line here to here is... Um, the Saddle Creek. Saddle Creek, yeah, Saddle Creek. I think that's how it is. That's what Google said. Or is that a creek or settle peak? Peak. Saddle peak. Yeah, it's not a creek, it's a peak. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was saddle saddle creek peak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is Sacagawea Peak and that's Saddle Peak. I feel like I'm attached like my camera's attached to my hand. I can't stop filming this. Yeah, I know. It's just so mesmerizing. Like it's just so beautiful. What a great way to live life. They have a fire pit. We're gonna do marshmallows or s'mores tonight. 
Oh wow. Oh look, we can have lunch out here. I already see a table. I really hope we like the other cabin because we, we're gonna leave tomorrow and be sad if yeah. we don't like it. It's gonna be totally different vibe tomorrow. Yeah. With water and... So oh, yeah, cool. Can <laughs> you can do the axe. Yeah. You gonna try? I never swung an axe before. Ooh. <laughs> That's legit work. This is like I'm a power tool guy. Like I respect the the old school the history of an axe. Cause I'm used to just being like on button. We're <laughs> not that, but like there you go. I don't say that was like a dial of the phone. Be careful. We like um in Titanic when you have to hit the same one. Oh yeah. That's hard, dude. Let me see if I can do it. I've not hit the same one yet. Alright. You see what I'm doing? You got the line, right? Try and go for this line right here. Try and go for that one. Alright. See if I can do it. Oh, dude, look at that. That's <laughs> hard, man. That is hard. I'm not gonna want to leave. I know, babes. I know. Next time we come to Montana, which is probably gonna be very soon. <laughs> if if we don't like the other places, we'll just for sure come back here. Yeah, I feel like Bozeman might be it though. Yeah. I love the Texas feel with the the flat land yeah. and the mountains in the back. That's what I love. And over there in Polson and Flathead Lake Glacier National Park, it's like forests. Mm. And I'm not trying to run into bears and stuff like that. Yeah. Like here you can see there's like wildlife coming. You'll be able to see from a mile away. Like that little dog. The little dog's back. Yeah. <laughs> but we saw him running through the field. He's coming so we can prepare it like, you know. Yeah. So. You want to eat breakfast out here? Yeah. This is crazy. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job on the pancakes, baby. Oh, you like them? They're really good. Oh, thank you. They're all cooked for me. I was telling him, I guess I just have to take you to Montana for you to cook for me. <laughs> I was like, true. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is a memory. It's gonna last a lifetime. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not that bad. It's fun. You should be on that, uh, Strongest man. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so we are headed to Yellowstone. I decided to suck it up and come out here because I don't want to ruin the trip and I do feel like, I'd say now I feel like 85% better um, with the whole altitude sickness thing, but it's so freaking pretty out here. Like the drive itself is like completely worth it, right baby? Oh yeah, 100%. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go to Yellowstone, we're gonna drive around, we're probably gonna enter the park, pay the fee and drive around. Um, we might go hiking, I don't know. We're not really, we didn't really plan anything. All I know is that we're gonna go explore and it's just, God is an artist for sure. Yeah. Because this looks so amazing, guys. I honestly can say the camera is not capturing its beauty. You have to come here to see what I mean. People say you fall in love with Montana as soon as you get here, and I completely agree. It's like a dream. Mountains that kiss the clouds. That's how high they are. So we're going to Yellowstone, and I'm going to vlog there, and then. I'll check back with you guys later because I don't want to waste all my battery because I don't have that much battery, which sucks, but yeah. So we'll see you guys in Yellowstone.
That's our elevation now, guys. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's so beautiful, though. We are in love with this place. Are you having fun? Um, absolutely. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Snowball fight. <laughs> Guys, look how beautiful this is. When you're from Texas and you don't really ever interact with snow, you always kind of imagine like, what's it feel like? But it's just ice. <laughs> you're gonna get your boots all wet. Until it goes inside your feet. <laughs> Yeah. My feet felt good. They felt cold. <laughs> they felt good though. Look, you see it right yeah. there? They're in over there. What's over here? Oh, wow. Why are you so scared? I thought you weren't scared of heights anymore. <laughs> what if I sit on it? Would you get mad? Jesus. So, guys, listen. We're up here. <laughs> listen, I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared right now. No, it's really. Not, I mean, I don't mind heights. I just don't want to be by the freaking cliff like she does. Let's get off. Let's get by the cliff. Let's get by the cliff. Why? Don't, you know what? You know why I don't want to be by the cliff? You know why? Cause Come look, here. look, look. No, no, we're good. Come on. So he's scared. <laughs> of heights and i always make fun of him because he got on the first wheel a couple years ago and got scared but he's like oh i'm not scared anymore so that was pretty awesome though was that was so beautiful i'm not scared of heights like that but it's funny because i'm the one that got altitude sickness yeah. but i'm not even scared of heights and i got altitude sickness all right so we're going back to the car so Daryl took us down a road that I don't know where we're supposed to be now. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of snow on the freaking ground. Oh gosh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I should turn around. Okay, I'll turn around. So that's kind of scary. Um, Cause I don't want to run out of gas over here. <laughs> so we're like, oh my gosh, help us. So we found our way back to the road. Um, it's really easy to get lost here, right baby? Yeah. Cause like they have signs, but a lot of, a lot of places are closed. But some places don't have like a closed sign on them, so you drive through it and then you realize like, oh crap, nobody's driven down this road in a while. So, um, 
yeah so now we're heading back out we're gonna get some food because we're so hungry um and then we're daryl i can see why he's scared because there are a lot of wildlife here but we're gonna do s'mores but he wants to do s'mores at sunset instead of at night it's really really dark so i can see why he's a little a little nervous yeah let me adjust let me adjust to the country living you know like on some things well, some things are easy yeah it's the montana country living because we're pretty texas country yeah but Montana country is way but different. I think China over Texas suburb country. <laughs> true. <laughs> you know? True, true. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna pick up the camera again because I just wanna chill out right now and enjoy the scenery, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. It's so crazy because technically right now we're in Wyoming, which is crazy to even think. We didn't even realize we were in Wyoming until yeah. we saw the map. And we were like, oh my gosh. We're in Wyoming. Now we've been, we can say we've been there. Yeah. I think it's because we're from Texas and everything is so far spread out that going to another state is a big deal. Oh, for Especially sure. Especially if you live in Austin. It's yeah. It's a big deal. So, oh, we're going to another state. Oh, wow. But you live in another state like Montana, which is still big, but not as big as Texas. We are here trying to start a fire. Um, we're from the suburbs, so we don't really know about that life. Um, so there was uh, YouTubing. But guys, look how beautiful it is behind me. It's so pretty. That's our cabin right there. And look at this view. It is so beautiful. This is where we had breakfast earlier today. Oh man, we leave this place tomorrow and I'm so bummed about it. I really, really hope we like our next place because it's gonna be really hard to beat this. Mm -hmm. 